Hi, my name is Rahul Verma. I'm technical consultant at Solutions PT. Today in this Tech Bytes, we are going to uh, be looking and creating the PyVision dashboard using the dynamic array and collection. The people who don't know the PyVision have not used it. Uh, the PyVision is the user interface for the Py. Uh, it's very easy to use. It does not need any code for creating the dashboard. Uh, uh, with the, it creates the dashboard with context-rich data without the need of help for accessing the data from your IT team or the business group. So basically, it shortens the learning curve for the new user as well as for the existing user. You can uh, simply create dashboard as you need and uh, you can share in between your teams also. Uh, the collection and dynamic array we are going to cover today is basically the collection and dynamic array uh, means your dashboard automatically populates with the new data when an asset comes online. So basically, uh, in the layman terms, let's say if you have a line that have three equipment of same type, and in future you add a fourth equipment and people go and add fourth equipment, you don't need to come and you know redo your dashboard. It will be added dynamically there. Uh, into your collection. So your dashboard don't need to change that. Uh, we will use the event frame, but won't go in detail today. We'll be doing in further videos. So let's go and dive in into the demo and let's create the dashboard. So as you can see, it is a web-based application. So anyone using the PyVision, they will have their web login and with their you know server. So right now we have this server and we I have already logged into to the PyVision. Uh, to create a new simple dashboard, I will go click click plus here and create a new dashboard. Uh, explain a little bit onto the side what we have got here. So here we have got two factory layout, actually two plants. So factory plant production line. Uh, we're gonna use factory plant for creating the dashboard. Uh, there is no limitation that you cannot use the other plant data in the same dashboard. You can use multiple uh, plant data in the same dashboard. Just uh, in this demo, we will be using only uh, factory plant data. So let's go look into the factory plant. In the production line, there are three lines. So production line one, production line two, and production line three. Okay. So we have created a new dashboard screen. So when it's orange, that means in edit, when it goes out, it's uh, your runtime mode. So we're gonna start creating it. So let's give some name to this dashboard, uh, production dashboard. Of, uh, so first of all, I wanna save it, it give some name. Production dashboard one, or whatever name you want to give, you prefer to give. So, line one, as you can see, the line one have two mixers inside it, and in the line one also there are uh, data. You can see the line production, line target, and other data. Let's go and pick uh, energy consumption. Okay, so energy consumed, I wanna show on the radial gauge, I will select the energy consumed and drag and drop. So select the radial, radial gauge, select the attribute and drag and drop. So it will convert it into, now let's format it little bit. So because it's a line one already, so don't wanna show the line one there. Uh, it's got different scale range. So I'm gonna put a custom range and on to the right, we'll put 300 range. Okay. So format wise, you can do as you to format, you can easily format it. Now, uh, I wanna put the energy rate also on the radial gauge, so I don't need to create it same way. I can copy and paste it, and then I can drop the energy rate onto this. Okay. So now you see that in the same format, it has picked up the energy rate, change the it's signed also, uh, it can pick. So 
you don't need to do everything from zero. Uh, let's do a little bit the box, uh, something so that it, so I put a box, let's format it. So no fill, um, change that to here. Now you can group it. I could have grouped it before and then copied it. Just didn't remember to do that. So you can group it and then copy it. It will be all copied all together. So that's that's the energy rate. Now let's put in the production data some of the production. So I want to say the production data. No, let's put some in. so let's say total production. And the line production, that's that. I put here. We'll format it. I don't need to see all. I just need the no time stamp, no label, just value and unit. Need to increase it to same size. And that's our total production. Now uh, let's copy and paste. Same way to create quality and the meter. So what else we got here? Line target, so, and quality percent. So we can put here production quality. Once you put production quality, the similarly I'll be put here. We don't need to go and format that. So we pick that and drop it here into that. So it had changed with the unit, as you can see. Okay. Uh, now line target. So production target drop here. Now I need to change this to production target. So you see, once you format one of it, you don't need to format, it's very easy. Just drag and drop in the same format. So uh, let's put a little bit box in, box it in so that they are separate, similar to the last one. I'm gonna put a box around it. While working on it, I, I have a habit of keep keeping to save it. So keep saving it so that we don't lost anything in between. Okay, so we have done, we have used the radial gauge. We have used the normal value uh, there. Now uh, let's uh, put the inside the mixer, some of the information of the mixer. So I'm gonna put the label actually. So let's put the mixer label and Format it a little bit. So what I need is I don't need the scale. So just need the mixer value unit and and I need the data limits because it's gone up so 300 limit. So mixer 100 label is there and I'm reducing the size. I will put it into a bigger box and when we will create the collection you will see what's the how it's gonna fill the box so that's the reason I am creating a little bit bigger box here right now so so that it can fill fit the mixer 200 it also uh, gonna give here some text out mixer levels yeah. you can expand it from here also you know drag it to you don't have to go in format and change the value okay. so 
save it. The next one, I'm going to use the trend one. So let's pick the trend from here and then pick the temperature. So there is mixer temperature. Okay. And pick the trend and put the trend here. Now oh, that's the trend, configured trend. So mixer temperature. Uh, you can configure it, you know, as you want uh, the data wise. You can configure with the fixed time range or you know, all those. So you can configure or with the duration or offset or so display time range means whatever time range I'm selecting here that it will display. If I select here one hour, it will display last one hour of the trend. So just to keep in mind when when you are configuring the trend, what time scale it needs to follow, you can select it from here. Okay. So I've selected whatever the screen time range is. Okay. So that's the mixer time. So that we have used. Now uh, I wanna use asset comparison table. So the asset comparison table is very useful when you want to compare like, you know, mixer 100, 200 values. So we are going, we will pick some of the mixer, uh, well, let's say mixer running time. Okay, I can select multiple and then drop all together, or I can select one and then uh, start dropping other uh, into it. Okay, so I can select like that, see mixer power rating, uh, hourly production, what else? Uh, level temperature we have already done, energy consumption for that mixer. So that energy consumption is not the total. This is for total production line, and this is your uh, mixer consumption. Okay, and then the process step. So you can add all the parameters of the mixer. Okay, so bring another asset to drag and drop the asset into the table, and as you can see, it has formatted everything as per mixer one hundred. So uh, we are going to delete it here as we are going to use later on dynamic search criteria and we will see how it plays out. So that's the asset uh, comparison table that we used. Okay. Uh, now let's go and create some name here. So because we have production dashboard of one. So what I'm do line one i will box, pick something of it uh, not for the asset table i need to select here the value energy consumed so see how i i'm going to use so i need to show line one line to what line it has selected so in spite of using all those values i'm gonna use just the value of it uh, the heading and the text i'm going to put same color so that will show your heading okay. that's the way to do it there are other ways also do it so uh, that's not the only way to do it so that's done that has been saved now let's create the collection okay i'm going to send it to backward because it's coming in the front so that now mix up select it so convert to collection you see, as soon as I converted it to the collection, it has created more, both mixer 100 and 200 in it. So the reason is that we have selected the 100. Now you see the search criteria is a line one. So you can modify your search criteria for the collection to see what you want to see. You know, like you, it works as a filter. Okay. So you create the collection and then it will dynamically so uh, for different lines also. So we will see in the last that how, how it plays out. Now, if I create the collection for mixer temperature, okay. So now the same search criteria, I'm not going to change it. Once I've created the collection, the second mixer temperature has came in here. So you will see from the headline there, that's the mixer and 200. Okay, so we have created the temperature one for the collection. 
now we will create the dynamic search criteria for the tables you can see there is no collection in the table you have got only the dynamic search criteria here the dynamic search criteria works on the tables asset comparison tables and the bar chart it works similar to the collection uh, as you have seen while creating the collection uh, it adds other asset it works same way so if i create at dynamic sales criteria you see it's got the sales criteria same that and it added mixer 100 and 200 here okay so as i said we don't need to manually drag and drop once you create the dynamic sales criteria it will add all the asset uh, you have on that level okay. so that's been created now let's save that okay and come out of it now this is your simple dashboard basically okay. uh, now when i go from line one to line two you can see the line all the dashboard data has changed to line two so production data for line two this is for line two as you can see the heading because line two have only one mixer mixer 300 you have got only 300 temperature asset and labels okay. similar to that line three uh, we have got uh, mixer 400 in line three okay so all the data for uh, line three uh, go back to line one we have got the you know uh, the navigation also you don't have to go here you can create the navigation from here also to click and you know put down uh, so basically if i come out of it you see that's where it is now if i want to change to eight hours you see my trend has changed to eight hours of data okay so that's uh, how basically it works uh, there is one more thing i would touch base little bit in this uh, we will cover in the future videos in little bit detail for that and that is our uh, event tables okay so there are events created for this mixer in when it goes into the mixing phase okay so this also you go and search your criteria what type of event you want to uh, pick just like the collection uh, search criteria or dynamic search array okay and then uh, you do create event table what it does it added the event table here okay so so those events can be your dine downtime or your shift or any other events okay so it has added that all the events in that uh, you can take down and all so uh, we will talk little bit detail in future videos as i said for the events okay so the events are there now we have got and the event also you can see it will change dynamically if i select you know line two line three it will change itself so thank you very much for watching if you have any questions or want to arrange a chat to discuss what we have been over this video feel free to get in touch with us at solutions pt and tune in for uh, the next videos for the pi vision thank you